Today I'm gonna play K on Hokago Tea Time. No oh, wait. Well, Hokago Live, that's what it is. The band is Hokago Tea Time. But uh, I love K-On. I really, really do. People criticize it because it's like, oh, it's all about drinking tea and eating cake and doing girly stuff. Ha <laughs> ha, it's dumb. If you don't know what the lyrics are actually saying, who gives a crap? Because <laughs> the music itself is awesome. Uh, one thing, though, about this game, it's really hard to play. The timing is ridiculous, and uh, I probably am not going to do very good. But instead of really showing off the game, I think the purpose of this video is going to be more to highlight a difference between Japanese music games and Western music games. Uh, so we'll, we'll get into that. Maybe I'll play a song first and then we'll talk about it. So I actually beat that song once. And I actually beat that song. This got ported to the PS3. And I don't know if it's any easier to play or not. But it's just like a typical music game. The things kind of slide across the screen and you push the button. But it's hard. Oops. I'm doing bad. It's hard to talk and do this. And I died already. <laughs> I should have practiced, huh? But there's all sorts of songs on here, but you have to actually beat the previous songs in order to unlock them. Normal, let's try that again. Maybe I'll try Yui this time. But uh, Kaon kind of came around at the perfect time for me. Because it was when I was starting to get back into anime. And I really liked Beck. And so this cute anime with cute girls playing cool sounded music was perfect. <laughs> but okay. What I was going to say about the difference between Japanese games and Western games. Japanese games typically have the notes kind of flying in from all sorts of arbitrary angles and coming in at diff you know, in different ways all the time. So it makes it harder to read the notes. Like the Persona music games and, and uh, Hatsune Miku, they're just flying in from all sides of the screen. And so you have to look at the whole screen plus keep your rhythm in order to play the song. So it's way harder compared to Guitar Hero or Rock Band or things like that, where the note highway is always consistent. It's always, you can always see it really easily. And I think the difference is that the Japanese games, they typically want you to actually look at the background and see what's going on, all the hard work they did. So they have the notes coming in from all over so you actually can see the background. Whereas Western games, you're so focused on just the note highway that you don't even see the band playing. So that's a pretty significant difference, right? But I think another difference is that the Japanese games always have way, way, way more precise timing. So they don't give you very much leeway. You have to just be perfect when you're hitting the notes in a Japanese rhythm game compared to uh, rock band and especially Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero gives you like pff, 10 years to push the notes. Rock band is a little bit more precise, but the idea is to make them more playable and more fun. And I think that's another significant difference is the Japanese rhythm games are, they're video gamey. They don't actually care about whether the notes line up with the music and whether you feel like you're playing music. The, the focus is just for it to be a video game. 
Whereas a lot of Western games, I feel like the music is actually the focus and they want to emulate creating music. And of course, it's like, oh, it's not the real thing. But it's surprisingly close. So I just, there's just <laughs> fundamental differences between these the Japanese and Western developed music games. And that's fine, but it makes these games so much harder to play. Oh, uh, maybe we'll try one more song. But the timing on this is so freaking hard. They made this game too hard. How can anybody play this? But I've noticed I have to hit it way early. This song's pretty good, actually. Oops. The song's good. It wasn't in the show, but you kind of have to assume that they had other stuff. Or else they were the crappiest band ever. <laughs> Let's just play the same five songs over and over. What do they think they are, Beck? Mongolian Chop Squad? This game looks good too, huh? 3D models, but the characters look good. Oops, I missed it. Because it was like a half beat slower than I thought. I pushed it too early. Oh, I'm going to die right at the end, huh? This might be easier to play on a PSP, actually. Because you don't have as much screen real estate to look at. Because I'm playing this on a gigantic TV. So I have to turn my whole head to actually see stuff. <laughs> I'm not a complete embarrassment. She looks very disappointed with me. One last thing I want to say though is uh, Moogie is the best. She's the best girl and all the other girls are crap. <laughs> Especially in season two when there's more episodes focused on Moogie and you see more of her personality. She's freaking amazing. I love her. I have a cat named Moogie but he's named after the Moogie from Dirty Pear. But if it was a girl, it still would have been Mugi. It just would have been named after Tsumugi Kotobuki instead. But yeah, I love Mugi. She's the best. This was Eric vs. 365, where I'm playing a different game every day for a year. Be sure to check out psxboxindies.com for daily blogs about the games we're playing and the videos we're making. Thanks for watching.